Hi guys, Wes and Sarasota here. Uh, I know it's been a few days since I made a video, mostly because uh, my phone camera has died on me and so now I'm using my iPad. But I wanted to show you what I've been up to the last couple of days and that has been uh, <laughs> starting a butterfly caterpillar little farm thing. So I don't know if you can see them, but up here there are six cocoon caterpillars. Um, the host plant here is a milkweed. That's a, I don't know if you can see it, but he's got big old, where is he? I don't know if you can see him or not. It's so hard with this pad, but we got, uh, we, there's <laughs> nine cocoon caterpillars already. And then another, oh, what, a, what is there? about another 20 or so baby and small tiny caterpillars most of the the small baby ones are on this plant here as you can see they've been doing some work on it just eating that thing up gobbling it right up and then we <laughs> have another uh, another oh 30 or so eggs that are just waiting to hatch a few that are, are real close so hopefully by the time this is done I'll be releasing about 50 butterflies monarchs into uh, the environment and then what you do is you just leave some nectar plants and keep their host plants alive and hopefully they'll come back and lay their eggs here and then uh, start the cycle all over but I gotta tell you man it's been a lot of fun watching these little boogers just grow up and go from you know the size of a pinhead I mean they're so tiny when they're when they're first uh, born to you know like I said I don't know if you can see him or not but look at the size of that guy he's a big fat plumpy plump caterpillar and uh yeah i think they're adorable and i can't wait to see the uh the butterflies come out so hopefully i'll be able to capture that the uh they turned into those cocoons hopefully you can see them up there right by the lights um <laughs> but they went from like a hanging caterpillar to a cocoon it seemed like i don't know it took about a day where they were just hanging upside down looking like a, a green and black candy cane and then within two minutes they shed their skin they're in their cocoon and they start looking like a hanging bell pepper <laughs> but what I didn't know which I find amazing I don't know if you'll again I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's just the camera on this thing it's not great but down here all those little <laughs> black dots and stuff if if I were just moving into this place I would have sworn they were you know like uh, mouse poop or something like that but it's caterpillar poop little Little caterpillar poops, totally looking like some mouse crap. So, <laughs> I don't know. It was just one of those things. I was like, oh, interesting. So, yeah, I'm having fun. These uh, these little caterpillars are keeping me entertained during the uh, the quarantine. So, hopefully you enjoy it. I'll, I'll keep you posted. And hopefully I catch the uh, the first, first couple butterflies popping out. All right, guys. That's what I've been up to for the last couple of days. I hope quarantine and lockdown and all that's treating you well. And just remember, if you're upset about these people protesting everything out there right now, they're just scared. They don't, they don't know what to do. You know, they're, they're more afraid of being poor and not having any kind of income than they are of a virus that most likely isn't going to affect them, you know, as drastically as it does our seniors. So, I don't know. Don't be mad. Uh, try to come from a place of understanding. Everybody's just trying to handle this the best they can. So, on that note, peace out, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch the... The butterflies coming out for you. Alright guys, stay safe.